Welcome to the sports market. I'm Ryan Morris. And I'm Nick Gable. And we will talk about two thi- one thing and one thing only. Sports. Anything else, Ryan? Uh, no. No, not today. Okay, so first got to start. It is technically, someone announced it. I don't know who announced it, but it is Mamba Day. Ryan, how do you feel about Kobe's illustrious career uh, coming to an end? I mean, I'm just going to say right here, I hate him. But that doesn't mean I don't respect him. I feel the same exact way. As a Kings awesome fan, it's, I hate the guy, but I respect him. He's a great, 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 well, I guess I guess he's a tremendously competitive like Michael was. And it's good to see, I don't think we should judge him on what he does in this game. I think, I don't care if he shoots 40 shots and scores 30 points. I just hope he goes out. It's a great moment, and that's basically it. No. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, let's, go. let's segue to the Warriors going for 73 wins. They're playing the Memphis Grizzlies, who a quote from uh, Har- not Harrison Barnes, but Matt Barnes was saying uh, he it, the Grizzlies basically said the Grizzlies aren't going to let them be. They're not going to roll over. They're not going to give them the record. They're going to make them earn it. And they want to, you know, it, they said it'd be cool to disrupt history. It'd be cool to be known as that team that didn't let the Warriors beat the Bulls' record. Ryan, can the Warriors win? And if they do. Will their playoffs, will how they do in the playoffs ultimately determine whether they're a great team or should we just say they're a great team because they got this record? I believe what they do in the playoffs will decide their legacy basically because, you know, e- even though it's kind of a special year where there's like two historical teams in a sense because mm-hmm. the Spurs set the record or they tied the record. With so the, they, they tied the record. They with tied the, the record with the Celtics, and you know that's a great, great uh, accomplishment in and of itself. Yeah, nowadays, their teams rest their players. So resting players. Yeah. So just the ages are different. Yeah. Uh, I feel like know, different eras in basketball, and there's different eras in sports too. So I feel yeah. like uh, just the play. It's going to be such a good playoff season. It will be, yeah. Follow the sports market for all the updates. Yeah, you please follow us on Twitter uh, and Instagram. We'll put our, uh, I think we're going to put our tags up in Miss Baker's room, start of spring yeah. break. I mean, the end of spring break, which is going to be a sad thing. Yeah. But moving on to a different sport, NFL draft. I don't know if you've heard this about Carson Wentz, but a lot of teams are, his stock was trending up. I was believing in him. I, were you believing in him? Yeah, I definitely saw that he had lots of potential. And it's weird because without playing a game, his stock has gone from this guy can be as good as Andrew Luck to this guy might be the biggest bust in pro football history. And it's weird because he hasn't played a game, and I think more people are just realizing, for one, North Dakota State is the Alabama of their division. They run 60% of the time. He was injured for two games this season, and those two games they won by a combined score of, like, 40-something. Wow. So... Definitely, he might have some questions, but he does definitely build like an NFL quarterback. Ryan, what do you f- feel about definitely Carson Wentz being a little o- overrated now, even though earlier in the draft process we were loving this guy? Uh, I definitely uh, have lots of trust and faith in him that he'll be a great NFL quarterback. Okay, so you're staying on the you're staying yeah. basically on the bandwagon. Yeah, uh, he's a very good quarterback. He's a very good game manager as a winning multiple national titles. Uh, I definitely wouldn't doubt that. You know, he has really good players around him, but that doesn't mean he's not a good player. So Yeah, I feel like he has to get drafted to the right team, and that's it. Mm-hmm. He gets drafted to a good team that has good players around him, like, say, I don't know, giving an example, I don't think he'll fall this far, but the Jets, that would be a great situation yeah. for him. Also, maybe, yeah, the Cardinals maybe, because Palmer's getting older. Yeah, maybe maybe, uh, maybe the Browns if they rest if they sit him for a year, that, that I think that'd be, be a possible. great thing. So, uh, what's next? Satellite camps. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, Ryan wrote on our blog. Just look up Nick and Ryan Sports Market. Ryan getting ready to go off right now. Ryan, how do you feel about satellite camps? Are you in favor of them or are you not in favor? Of I'm them? in favor of them. Uh, Me too. You know, they're definitely uh, very vital utility that uh, recruits get to gain exposure among colleges and for those of you who don't know what satellite camps are 
they're basically recruiting camps that out of town colleges host in a certain like, area. If it was Michigan hosting uh, a satellite camp, camp in Georgia, in, in Georgia or California, to find talent there and gain like exposure between colleges and recruits. Uh-huh. It's who, great. I think it's great. Yeah, who otherwise wouldn't get that opportunity uh-huh. without the camps because maybe they don't have the money or other things. Yeah, they don't have the means to get everywhere so, and get noticed, which is great. I think the people who oppose this are wrong in thinking, oh, well, uh, it's not fair that they get to come. If you're not going to recruit those kids, let another school recruit them. Yeah. But the big thing SEC that... SEC schools. The SEC schools, ACC schools. The big thing is, everyone is just mad at Jim Harbaugh. He is changing college football one day at a time. And honestly, I think it's great. He got the top prospect this year. Rashard Gary or something Gary. Yeah, Rashard Gary. Um, and I think it's great. I think he's a great recruiter. I think he's a great coach. And I th- think it would be against a betting man. You'd I wouldn't bet against him to win a national championship in the next three years. Or at least get to the final four. Yeah, he's definitely going to. Yeah. I definitely. think he will make one appearance in the next two years. I agree. I agree. I think. Whether he wins it or not is... Up Just to him, but and who he plays, obviously. Yeah. Uh, but how do you feel? How do you feel about the NCA? Just first, just oh, uh, you know, they really they just signed like an eight-year, eight point eight billion dollar contract with CBS. And do you know how many of those great athletes who are making all that money get to see Ryan? How much do they get to see? Uh, zero. Which is, I think, it, I think that's the ugly side of. I understand. Oh, you're giving a kid an education. You're giving him uh, tuition that he wouldn't be able to. Get in, get into a school otherwise, any way otherwise. But there's also these kids who are making so much money for this big, let's call it what it is, a corporation, and they don't even get to profit off like this Ben Simmons jersey. Honestly, Ben Simmons didn't get any money from this. Now, obviously, Ben Simmons is a different story because he's going to make a ton of money yeah, in the NBA. But uh, what? A, I, I just don't like, I just don't like the NCAA. I've never liked the NCAA, right? Uh, Maybe. what I'm. I don't, I'm not really opposed to student athletes uh, getting paid. I just think them profiting off their name would be a good solution. Yeah. Because Cardell Jones can sell some of the stuff that he has, can make like 20% off the jersey. I don't know the exact I numbers. Don't know. Let, or, honestly, they give them all their memorabilia anyway. Why don't yeah. they? Why? Because or I think Oregon and the big college football schools. They like rotate jerseys every single year. I mean, yeah. game week in yeah. game. Why don't Why don't they say, hey, example, hey, uh, Thomas Tyne, or no, not a, Royce Freeman, running back for Oregon. Here, here's your jersey from last year's game. You can sell it and make as much money as you want. Yeah. And he, and that's fair. And so guys choose if they want to make money. Yeah, and I totally agree with that. And if they team that agreement. As Maybe we could get a video game also. Yeah, true. Maybe yeah. we can get a video game. That's just that a dream. Okay, so Ryan, the Champions League, big upset oh, happened yeah. today. Barcelona. Oh, wait, no. Actually, we're going to yeah. go to NHL. Uh, oh, yeah, Because we don't like to switch continents without going. We don't like going back to continents. Yeah. So we're going to go with the NHL playoffs. Who's your favorite to win it all? Honestly, it- I got the Capitals. I agree. I, I- think... It's theirs to lose, but somehow they always so, yeah. I think we yeah. both have the Capitals, but I think beauty of hockey, any of those 16 yeah. teams can win it. Yeah, that's what's honestly. so good about it. Except the Lightning. They have no chance. Yeah, Even Stamkos is injured. Like, yeah. come on. No. No. I may regret that, but I don't think I will. Yeah, no. So the They're Champions League. Oh, yeah, we Champions did not want to switch League. continents. Now we are switching continents. Uh, Champions League. Big upset. Barcelona goes out to Atletico Madrid. Barca have actually lost their last three or four games. Dipping form, but all I want to know, Ryan, is how do you have a front three of Messi, Suarez, and Neymar? All 90 rated players on uh, FIFA, not Ultimate Team, but like regular in game updated stats. How do you, how do you fail to win? Is it, was it Atletico Madrid just being better defensively, or is it something else? Atletico Madrid just is like a better team. Like, you know, they might have the firepower and Every year, them, Real will have that firepower and the top players in the world, but Atletico Madrid, they're just 
The chemistry is there. Yeah, they have. They definitely. They're have. well coached. Diego Simeone, probably the best yeah. coach. I would honestly say he's the best coach in world football, football. Yeah. Because I think he gets the most out of what he Every has. Every player. Yeah. But also Leicester City's manager gets a yeah. shout too. Oh right yeah, there. definitely. Um, but you know what? Noticeable has been in lost in the since the Madrid game or during the Madrid game and after the creativity of Barcelona. There isn't those. You see all the, these highlights of Barcelona. Yeah. Three passes and they're in. Messi, Suarez, mm -hmm. Neymar. And there just hasn't been that. And yeah. it's it's not necessarily... I think it's just they're burned out, honestly. And I think Messi... I don't think he's... I think some games he doesn't have it. And I feel like he needs a good team to be successful. And if Neymar doesn't have it, Messi doesn't have it. Suarez will all be, always be that consistent presence in the middle. Yeah, he will strike force and just banging in those goals and I also think their midfield Rakitic and Iniesta haven't created enough chances I think their defense is great but I want to ask can't. you a question uh, for those who saw the Real game or didn't see it they came back to beat Wolfsburg mm -hmm. what was it they were down 2-0 yeah it. Ronaldo scored Ronaldo scored all three what do you think about that I think Ronaldo I don't know if he's the best player in the world well no I said it on my story, so I'll own up to it. He is the best player in the world. Right now. Maybe not in 10 months, but right now he's the best player in the world. He's doing it consistently, and he's basically, he basically said in that game, hey, get on my back, I will carry you home. That's one of the performances in soccer you see, and it's like, oh, he carries, he carries his team. He carried his team. You see it in basketball, you see it in, not necessarily football, well, sometimes football. Mm -hmm. But um, you see that, and it's, it, it was a great game to watch. The his third last goal was kind of an error on Wolfsburg, but he fit that ball into a tight hole between the two defenders, and it was pretty awesome to watch. I think his form going into the Euros will help Portugal, which reminds me, Ben Hunter, you will be on the Euros. You will be on the show for a Euro preview. I don't know when, but you definitely He's will be He's our negative. football correspondent. Yeah, he is our football correspondent. Um, let's move on to Dingus. Or no, let's go quote of the day. Do you have the quote of the day? There's Roddy, do you remember it? Uh, uh. Here, let's first go to the dingus of the day. Because okay. I... You do the dingus, I'll look up the quote. So the dingus of the day is Kevin Johnson, mayor of Sacramento. I love him. Because he helped get the Sacramento Kings back. But then he tweeted this out. From mayor, Ke from mayor to Mamba, I want to present at Kobe Bryant with the key to the city. But you got to come to Sacramento to get it. I don't know if that was a joke. If it was, terrible joke, Kevin Johnson. Still deserved the dingus. But if it's not a joke, was Kevin Johnson here in the early 2000s when we went to the conference finals and were a shot away from going to the championship where everyone in, everyone in NBA believed the team who won that series was going to win the championship no matter what? Was he there? Kobe... For, for newer aged Kings fans who are younger than me and don't really know that, it was heartbreaking. It was the worst, probably I was, four, I think I was like four or five, it was the worst I ever felt as a sports fan and probably the worst I will ever feel as a sports fan until we get back to the top, which I'm kind of not necessarily hoping, but definitely praying. But I think it's just, I don't think you do that. I'm, you don't, he's not, I know he's having a great career and I know. I know he's having a great ending to his career. I know he's been such a class act, good guy these past couple months, but you don't do that. You don't give him the key to our city where he broke everyone's hearts. It was it's just too much to do. I don't condemn I don't like that KJ. But I bet he's joking. I hope he's joking. If he's not I don't I don't want to talk about him if he's not. Okay. It's all right. Good. Uh, so now to the quotes of the day. Oh, quotes. Uh, it's by Kanye West and Kobe Bryant. Yeah, Kanye see. West said, uh, how much more successful do you want me to be? And then Kanye was like, or no, but then Kobe was like, more successful. And Kanye was like, but, but I'm the best. And Kobe Bryant, which is the quote of the day, said, but are you this, but you are, are you a different animal? But the same beast. Thank you. This is the sports market. I'm yeah. Ryan Morris. There's a giant bee that flew into us. So, bye bye. And that's me. Yeah, Thanks for showing. <laughs>